okay everybody Kinsey here for those of you who don't know I started a ministry called you are loved about five ish years ago the purpose of it is reminding others that no matter where they have been in life or what they're going through right now they have a purpose they matter and they are loved I do so by encouraging people being there for others when they need someone to talk to paying for the people behind me in the drive through or whatever it may be Every now and then, I would do small raffles, and the proceeds would go towards projects I was working on for others. However, I came to the realization that I was doing all that stuff for others long before I attached the name Your Love Ministry to it. Therefore, even though I will continue doing whatever I can to help others, I just haven't been near as passionate about what I initially set out to do. I still intend to one day make some of my goals from this experience come into existence, I just might have to go about doing so differently than I imagined or hoped they would happen. Overall, the way I was trying to accomplish everything was also heading into a very costly direction, and it wasn't going anywhere soon. Uh, plus, you know, as a college student with a very limited income and trying to pay my own way through school, a costly direction would not have been the best route at all. With that said, I determined that it was best to step back, reevaluate, pray on it, and go from there. I wholeheartedly trust that God will always provide no matter what, but sometimes He allows us to step back for a reason and we, that we may not be aware of yet. Um, despite over the last few months, I've been doing a lot of thinking on trying to find something I could do and be passionate about and still potentially make a difference. And so here I am making this video for all of you. I've always thought it would be exciting to make videos and thought it would be something different to do, although I had never had the motivation or courage to do it, nor have I bothered to make time for it. Even though there have been some uncertainties on my mind about it, I had several people tell me I should give it a try, and I felt that was God's way of reassuring me that I should go for it and see what comes of it simply because I had never told anybody about my desire to do it. I don't know how often I will upload something, but my hope is to work on sharing videos about experiences I've had, my thoughts on devotions that I've read and enjoyed, reviews on songs and what I think about, what I think about them, what they mean to me, and see where it takes me. So, without further ado, I would like to focus on the Asbury University revival that took place back in the in February for the remainder of this video. Yes, we're currently in the month of October, and the revival took place in February, but we all got to start somewhere with each new endeavor. For starters, it's hard to believe that it's been eight months already since then, and that just goes to show that every minute is valuable, and we should spend our time doing what we love without looking back on what we could have done differently. Given that it was so long ago, I don't quite remember how the revival even started, Although, if my memory serves me correctly, then I believe it started out with a small handful of students who attend the university. Uh, they were having a Bible study together, and one of them decided to share his or her testimony. This individual's testimony was so moving that it took off from there and lasted for about three weeks or so on the university's campus. Although, please feel free to put in the comments below if you heard or remember something differently, or if what I said sounds about right. Now, moving forward to what I experienced when I went. From those of you who know me really well, you know that I've never been fond of doing anything last minute, simply because my medical needs and requiring a little more time than the average person to get ready and whatnot. However, when February 18th rolled around and I saw that the revival was still going on, there was something that came over telling me that I needed to go. While talking with my mom that afternoon, she mentioned having the same feeling for several days. It's one of those things where it's like, why that day in particular? What makes February 18th so significant compared to any other day that the revival was going on? And well, I'll tell you why. My grandma on my mom's side of the family, that day is her birthday, and on top of that, she graduated from Asbury University. She passed away a month before my sixth birthday, and she was my best friend. She was confined to a walker in a wheelchair as well, so she, out of everyone I had known at the time, understood me the most. I've been missing her a lot more than usual lately, and to this day, 
I feel like that was her trying to tell me to go in, her, in memory of her. Thankfully, I was already dressed for the day, so I was in a position where for once I was able to load up and go. And that's, so that's exactly what my mom and I did. It was absolutely crazy when we got there. The campus was so packed that everyone was having to park several miles away, if not farther, and walk the rest of the way to the campus. As for the line of people waiting to get into the building where the revival started, the line was so long that my mom and I had about a five minute video of the line alone. It was already pretty late in the day when we got there, so we only stayed for a couple of hours, but it was time well spent. I can honestly say that I had never experienced anything like that before in my life. And don't get me wrong, I've had some pretty credible experiences, but I don't think any of them really come close to what I witnessed that day. Naturally, as every child does, I branched away from my mom and did my own thing. Everyone I encountered had a freeing, joy-filled, kind-hearted spirit that came over them as if there was not a care in the world for how they were going to make it through the next day, week, or month because the only thing that mattered in the moment was knowing God's in control. I can only hope that the majority, if not all, of the people who got to experience the revival have continued to carry that feeling with them to this day. As I roamed, I had these cards with me. On one side they said today's prayer, and on the other side they had encouraging verse on them. If I had to guess, I had roughly a hundred of those with me, and by the time we left, I only had five left in my hand. What would happen was I would hand one to somebody, and two or three people surrounding that person would, would ask for one. I would roam a little farther, and the same thing would happen, and it just kept going. In doing so, it was crazy to see how many people were just craving to have it, human interaction, someone who would listen to their struggles, and to simply have a little bit of positivity in their day. Ever since then, I have made it a mission to start carrying around these encouraging notes with me and passing them out to everywhere I go. The ones I've been using lately have a printed note on one side and on the other side is, it's blank for you to write your own if you choose to. I always like to write an encouraging quote, the, the ministry statement of you are amazing, you have a purpose, and you are loved with, along with my phone number and name on each one because it makes them a little more personal when you do and I like including my number in case anyone ever needs someone to talk to, has a prayer request or whatever the reason might be. I just like being here for people. And the responses I've gotten from people have been absolutely incredible and life-changing. In fact, talking about this reminds me of one of the quotes I use, which is, if you want to lift yourself up, lift up someone else. And it was Booker T. Washington who said it. If you're looking for something you can do to encourage others without breaking the bank, then I highly recommend investing in some of these. While there are plenty of, op of opportunities to be there for others and encourage them without spending money, these are very inexpensive. You can find all kinds of booklets on Amazon, as well as a website called Mary and Martha. Each booklet has a different topic and they come with 100 sheets for $9.99. So like I said, very inexpensive. Aside from the overall experience that I had with people there that day, the environment was amazing as well. Uh, there weren't any food trucks set up anywhere. There weren't any tents or signs with websites or anything like that, advertising revival merchandise or to collect donations. Everything was provided for the people who attended was completely free. There were stations set up all over the campus where you could grab some water bottles, chips, and cookies. And the best part in terms of food was the Chick-fil-A sandwiches. That's hands down one of my all-time favorite places to eat. If you're looking for a good old chicken sandwich and waffle fries, then Chick-fil-A is definitely the place to go. Providing that the plain chicken sandwiches are $5 each, I don't even want to know how much money the company lost trying to keep up with the, de the demands of all the people there. The whole experience just, ju just goes to show that there is good in the world. And it's not always about the money, it's about the people. All in all, the Asbury University was an experience to remember, and I hope to carry it with me for the rest of my days. 
being able to gather around the campus and be surrounded by like-minded people was incredible. Keep in mind that there were people com coming from all over the country for this. If the opportunity for something like this were to ever come up again, then I would love to be there to witness it. And I know if my grandma were still here, then she would be right there with me. And my closing thoughts to, to those of you watching this would be, don't ever let anyone or anything hold you back from doing whatever you desire to do. The only people capable of telling you what your limitations are would be yourself and God. You can accomplish anything that, that you set your mind to. You just have to be patient with it and give it time. The devil will certainly try to use your own thoughts and other people against you to tell you differently, but that's why you got to stand firm in what God says about you. Well, to those of you who made it this to this point, thank you for listening. Your support is always appreciated. And please share your thoughts in the comments below. If you have anything you would like me to expand on, topics you would like me to talk about, questions you would like answered about my life as a disabled individual, or questions about the disabled community in general, or anything of the sort, then please put that in the comments as well, and I would be happy to make videos on it. And don't forget to hit that little thumbs up button to like this video and share the video with your friends and family. I would also love for you to hit that little subscribe button below this video and hit the bell to set notifications to all so you can be notified when I post new videos. And lastly, to my grandma, I love you, I miss you, and I cannot wait to be reunited with you again. Until next time, this is Kenzie reminding you that you are amazing, you have a purpose, and more importantly, you are loved. Bye, guys.